Good evening and welcome. Time for some business news. My name is Abi Agena. Transiting airline passengers, cabin crew and others who need accommodation around Jomo Kenyatta International Airport will no longer have to contend with the Nairobi traffic gridlock following the official opening of the Lazizi Premier Airport Hotel. Part of a 3 billion shilling investment, the hotel opened just as Kenya also broke ground for Africa's tallest building and opened the doors to other international hotel brands. Here's more. First, it was the groundbreaking for Africa's tallest building, the Pinnacle in Nairobi's Upper Hill, a building which promises to hold a one-of-a-kind 45-story Hilton Hotel. Expected to be complete in 2019 and formerly known as the Haas Towers, the mixed-use development is set to catapult Nairobi into the record books by hosting the tallest freestanding structure in Africa. Your Excellency, this investment of 200 million US dollars or the equivalent of 20 billion Kenya shillings by Jabavu Village and our international partners is a clear vote of confidence in your government and the Kenyan nation under your leadership. But let me just take this opportunity to congratulate the owners of the building, to congratulate the management on this most excellent of investment, an investment in not only changing the skyline of Nairobi, but creating new properties. Then it was off to the Westlands district of Nairobi for the president, this time to officiate the grand opening of yet another hotel property. This time, the Park Inn by Radisson, the first property of the colorful and dynamic mid-scale hotel brand in Nairobi. Nairobi has always been um, the gateway to East Africa, and this is the very first park in by Radisson um, to enter East Africa. And mine is to assure all of you that my government will do everything in its power to ensure that we create an enabling environment for you to prosper, for you to help us create jobs for our young people, for you to help us make Nairobi that city that will be at the center of economic growth and development in East and Central Africa. And with Kenya's geographical position and easy access to most capitals from the JKIA, India-based Sarova Group of Hotels officially opened the doors of its Lazizi Premier Airport Hotel, again with the president in attendance. We will also try to see how we can help also in developing the infrastructure outside so that the infrastructure is also in tandem with the quality and standard that you are setting in terms of the developments that you are making. The transit business, as you know, our airport is growing. We've got our rail line coming across the road. We've got businesses running across in the Makasi village. So I think we have got a lot going on. So just what is driving the push by investors to go big in Kenya's hospitality industry? And uh, it constitutes of 144 bedrooms. Uh, we've got a wide variety, ranging from deluxes to suites to, to, to presidential suites, you see, to twin bedrooms. Currently, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport handles just above a million passengers with plans to scale up to at least 20 million passengers. The increase in capacity will see hotels get a lifeline as airlines and business travelers will be treated to a variety of offerings in the market. So basically our target market is going to be mainly airline crews. It is together with the transit passengers and um, various corporates who are located within the cargo area and within the JKIA. The investments are also buoyed by the fact that Kenya recently got the go-ahead for direct flights into the U.S. market, a move that is expected to open up previously and